Boom! It's Thursday night, folks. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony <laughs> Edition. Our little scenario, soap opera drama of urbanites. Uh, welcome aboard. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff. It's down there. Feel free to buy it. Uh, get something uh, cool for yourself. I think there was a uh, coupon notice if you check my the twitter account uh join us on discord chat with us uh, get to know us uh tell kyle what a horrible dm he is and he always goes over too long because he enjoys hearing that that makes his day uh but most importantly if you want to be on this show either cacophony or the one of the one shots or the talk show m hobo inc twitter gmail uh, let us know. Folks, uh, we got three players lined up tonight. One of them uh, is dealing with an issue. So Caitlin will be a little bit late. Our other two uh, longstanding members are present and ready to get into this mess. I will do a recap here in just a moment. First off, uh, I'll start with Carrie this time. Carrie, uh, longtime producer, always behind the camera and sometimes in front of the camera. Carrie, who are you playing? I am playing my level four wizard necromancer named Camilla, who has a propensity for caffeine and fog cloud. That's because you guys found the flying J. Yes. <laughs> we did. Uh, next up is David. David, who are you playing? All right. Uh, I am David, by the way. Uh, I am playing Zadar. He's an uh, arcane trickster, changeling, gen gender fluid, non-binary. I don't know what he is this week, so or she. Well, yeah. you know, we're coming up on time. <laughs> yeah. No, he's Zadar's in the far form he was in last week, Yay. which is the Billy Idol form. So nice. You know, especially if we're still at Alfredo's. He's <laughs> he's at least not turning into Jessica Rabbit. You will not be at Alfredo's. Uh yet i suppose uh, <laughs> our third member of the group is caitlin she is going to be blah 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 she will be playing <laughs> daphne the tiefling paladin uh you may call her ass kicker but do so with reverence or she will fucking kill you yeah. folks murder obo inc as always for mature audiences only so there will be some profanity there will be violence uh last time daphne strapped a dead child onto her body <laughs> and used him as armor uh, that's uh, that's the kind of uh thing we roll uh we'd like to thank our sponsors pirate dog dice pirate dog dice make dice that roll too high for the dm and of course odd fish games oddfishgames.com also uh part of their retinue is adventure sense so if your your game doesn't have to stink you can always get some uh adventure sense oh he's got the I've got, got the big got the tin, now. and it's the tin. it is the Mayan temple tin. <laughs> nice. Uh, folks, they've also got plushies and books, like uh, how to cook with chemicals and how to RPG with your cat. They're going to have a special game. They did that at Gen Con. Uh, once we get news, uh, we'll let you know. Uh, folks, uh, if you saw the game last week, uh, totally not part of the soap opera. They had to go ahead and help plan a party which turned out to be a little bit difficult but they were able to pull it off with success the week before uh they got <laughs> sent to go find that rascally female rabbit uh zephyr zoran daughter of the councilman one of the councilmen of cacophony uh after some trials and tribulations including a shadow demon uh they were able to recover young zephyr uh they also found out that she had pawned several items including a box uh zadar went out on a limb and spent a good chunk of his money uh recovering that box uh, but not giving it over to her until he could investigate the contents uh camille zadar and when daphne gets back you guys did turn over uh zephyr uh, Zoran, each of you is 75 gold pieces richer. Zadar, uh, you took a peek inside that box and what you saw concerned you enough to not mention it. Zephyr noticed that you did not mention it, but did not rat you out. <laughs> that is an important point here. Okay. Uh, well, considering she's the one that's pawning shit. 
Yeah. True. Well, as uh, after the party and after the hangover, uh, Zadar, you and Camille and Daphne have gone over the missives, and it turns out you have found a couple of things. Um, a, there is a letter in there that Zephyr is slated to go to the Sisters of Silence uh, for her transgressions. There is documentation in there that Zoran has had it up to here with her, and he is sending her off to the Muted Abbey. For how uh, long? Not your concern at this point in time. Uh, she so. should have taken my offer to become an adventurer. She would have been fine. And, and who knows? Maybe uh, Zephyr Zoran uh, recovers. Uh, the other <coughs> information that you discovered is there are several missives from DeLuca to yes. his lieutenants. His lieutenants, which you are familiar with, our lucky Luciano, mm -hmm. Frankie, Two Fingers, and Pretty Boy Floyd. Apparently, oh, the message no. go ahead and spell out uh, that uh, DeLuca is the marionette pulling the strings, uh, and these guys have been shaking down businesses in the merchant district. Uh, from the missives, you cannot tell whether or not these three assholes know who DeLuca is. Wow. Okay. Well, they're supposedly his lieutenants, right? It would seem from the uh, paperwork that they are responsible for carrying out the shakedowns and embezzlement uh, features. But they have no idea who they work for. You cannot tell from the missives. Okay. You will have to find them and interrogate them if you okay. can. Uh, okay. So that in mind, uh, you can go see uh, the councilman to go speak with uh, Zephyr to see if she can tell you where she got the box mm -hmm. uh, that does not contain Gwyneth Paltrow's head. We were all wrong about that. Uh, or you can go to the Adventurers Guild and see how hungover uh, Fomunda D's Nuts is from his birthday party. Or you can do anything else that you want to do at this time. What about the, the woman that was being taken away to uh, the jail or whatever that slipped me the bottle? Oh, the uh, bottle of poison? Mm-hmm. Yes, you may go to the is jail that an and option? see her. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. I forgot uh, about that, folks. Uh, in last week's adventure, uh, Zadar got slipped a potion bottle from a lady who told him to guard it with his life. Uh, further inspection revealed that it was the same toxin that put uh, the other councilman uh, near death. That is where he came up with the potion bottle of poison. Okay. So uh, this is a more open scenario uh, <laughs> with a lot of information to be found. Okay. All right. Well, Cammy, where do you want to go? I'll let you pick. Usually do you wanna... I'm charging the way. <laughs> well, it's up to you. Do you want to deal with the three assholes that we dealt with when we first came here or what? What kind of mischief do you feel like getting into? And it's raining. And it's raining. <laughs> okay. So where are we currently? We're you probably in the bungalow. bungalow. Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check out uh, the Adventurers Guild and see how Femenda's doing. Okay. We'll, Just we'll for do a that. light start. <laughs> sure. Uh, you arrive a short time later at the Adventurers Guild. The door opens and there is... Uh, uh, a smell of vomit oh, in, gosh. in the air. Uh, Fauntleroy, trusted servant of uh, Famunda D's Nuts, the Guildmaster, is currently mopping up a rather large pile. Uh, from the look on his face, it does not appear as though the vomit is his. He greets you uh, with a slight headache and asks what he can do. Uh, first of all, I say, uh, okay. 
Maybe you could use a little prestidigitation for it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out. So I don't think prestidigitation removes intoxication, does it? Well, no, the, the vomit. Oh, the vomit. Oh, yes, very good, very good. Yes, I can at least make that easier for him. Yes, he he. Thank you, thank you. What can we, what can we do for you? Uh, well, we were checking to see how you guys are doing. I think we have our answer. <laughs> I, I've seen better days. I'm just happy that the party got pulled off. But Fomunda, he can't talk to you today. He's. He, he, he was out. three sheets to the wind last night, I imagine. <laughs> well, uh, behind you, the door bursts open, and a very harried guard, sweating profusely, yells out, We need help! We need help! Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks as though he suffered a hit from a beholder. Uh, library voices, you need our help? There's no time. There's been a murder. Ugh, for the love of God. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, there's been two murders. I... For the love of God again, of the gods again. I Let's... <laughs> guess we go with them. I guess we go. <laughs> As you follow him, he takes you around towards the governmental entrance Ugh. or the governmental plaza. Mm -hmm. He explains to you that the owners of the pawn shop down in the wealthy section of town, oh, no. twin sisters, have been murdered. Mm. Murdered, I tell you. I will take perception by both of you. Oh, Lord. Lovely. Great. Uh, really? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Okay, uh, 12. Uh, that'd be a four. Uh, the four's not going to notice it. Uh, the twelve Zadar notices um, Councilman Zorin is uh, Zubek Zorin is headed towards the governmental office. He wow. was the one that was sick, wasn't he? No, no, oh, no. that's no, Arla. That's Arla. Zephyr. Arla the, the this Zephyr's is Zephyr's dad. dad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's going through the governmental entrance. He's headed towards his office. Okay. So. The, where where are the bodies of the two pawn shop owners? Are they in? They're in the pawn shop. They're in the pawn shop. Okay. So is that what they're asking us to go investigate the murder? He wanted to talk to Fomunda D's nuts to see if uh, he could spare a few investigators. Okay. Yeah, right. he's not going to be up to that. So we'll just go. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. <laughs> A uh, short time later, you arrive to a large crowd of people with a weeping female outside. Uh, she was there to collect her uh, family heirloom uh, when she discovered the bodies. Uh, they are crucified to one of the roof rafters. Oh, Lord. Interesting. Lords. <laughs> Their mouths have been cut, giving them a bloody smile. Hmm. You Somebody's know, been reading The Dark Knight. <laughs> uh, wow, this is pretty macabre. Okay, I mean, can we go in and investigate? Are there people inside? Yeah, I mean, no, where, where are the... The, guard, the guards have thrown everybody out. Okay. okay, so we approach the guards. So Hey, look, we have the pen. <laughs> I brought them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. The lieutenant looks at you. You do not recognize her her uh, mm -hmm. and she's like do your magic okay okay so we go on in so yeah and uh other yeah. than the bodies is it in disarray yeah it is actually not it is in pristine condition i'm trying to think of a witty david caruso quip to make <laughs> right here <laughs> Yeah, right. Take your glasses off. Looks like they're hanging around. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, you meet investigators Gibble and Harris. Uh, both gnomes. Mm, uh, nice. Is Gibble related to Dibble? Uh, His no last name Thibbet? That criminal. No, he is not Gibble Thibbet. Uh, okay. <laughs> no relation whatsoever. Uh, each one of them has a large magnifying glass, and they are going over things. Okay. Uh, who are you? Uh, we have been sent to help with the investigation. Uh, 
gentlemen. I oh, am... I see. So you're just going to come barging in our crime scene and take over. I understand that now. Okay. Think you're a big, what are you again? I'm a half one, uh, so he yeah. can fuck I'm a, I'm a half that. elf that looks like Billy Idol, so. So, male. Uh, you yeah, big yeah. man, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and show us what you got. Well, Napoleonic uh, <laughs> complex going on. Huh? Short oh, cops are the worst. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, it, we're just here to assist, gentlemen. So, please tell us what have you found? Oh, oh. Would you uh, like us to eat your breakfast too? Maybe take a crap for you? Anything else we can get you there? Hey, hey, your hey. Majesty? Short man, <laughs> piss off. Calm down. Settle. Settle. As you can see, uh, we received notification that there was a double homicide to wit. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, low men on the totem pole arrived discovered this was the case, sealed off the building, called us in. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we need to come up with a cool cop jingle for him. Sure. Da, da. <laughs> yeah. It's the law and order thing. We, need, right. a, we need a sound cue. Dun, dun. Well, if we did, they fucking Twitch would blurt us out uh, for an hour and piss that's me off. That's true. So can you uh, tell how long they were dead? Well, we understand that Somebody talked to him just yesterday. Oh, oh. Who was that? Uh, a group of adventurer types, <laughs> uh, along with the goth mistress, uh, daughter of the councilman. We suspect she might be involved. Uh, oh, for the love of God. Well, no, she's, uh, I don't think she's involved in all that. She was, she was in our custody until we turned her over to her father. So, <laughs> scratch that off the list. Okay. <laughs> so, are we the last people to see them alive? To the best of our knowledge. Uh, uh, are, come on. Uh, is there a register of outstanding, like, pawn tickets or anything like that? I see the, the lady book, that. The book is over there. Okay. Uh, Last entry was for. I've taken the liberty of removing the page. It was a. Uh, box. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. To wit, an individual named. Zodar. Z Zodar. Z Z Zader? Zader. Zadar. Zader. Yeah. Zader. What was your name again? Billy. <laughs> yeah fancy pants <laughs> really fancy yes. pants and if you look over in column two you'll notice that the item in question was owned by zephyr zadar who had pawned it a day before hence zephyr zadar yes we deduced that she was our main suspect until you were able to clear her mr zodar yeah, I can't believe she used Funny how name. that works. Billy. His name's Billy. Billy. It's kind of like Prince. It's Billy. They, they know who One he name. is. <laughs> they know who you guys are. So, so you made us go through all that, just, you know, when you know damn well who we are. So, uh, okay. So, as a necromancer, can I sense anything about the dead bodies? Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ooh. 16. Uh, once you go ahead and get the means to climb up towards the rafters, you can notice that both of the women seem to have been beaten severely. Uh, their knuckles are distended, indicating uh. some kind of torture, uh, before their hands were impaled on iron spikes. A ladder will be located near the back room uh, that reaches all the way to the rafters, and your assumption is that that ladder was used to apply them. Uh, from the lack of blood, uh, 
from the from the small amount of blood uh, dripping down onto the floor, you surmise that they possibly could have been dead uh, long before they were hammered into the rafters, indicating right. torture most likely was the cause of death. Dun dun. Dun dun. So does it look like the torture happened here? There, if it did, it has been cleaned up. Wow. Because wow. the building is immaculate. Uh, Zadar, give me an investigation roll. Okay. Investigation. Okay. <laughs> A little better. <laughs> 25. 25. Not only do you find the cash box mm -hmm. uh, has not been rifled through, it is filled with money uh so you can exclude robbery from your investigation okay. uh it's going to take a while for you to go through the register of items pawned along with the inventory to figure out if anything else is missing yeah, now do i recognize <laughs> now do i recognize any of the the names on the register perhaps deluca there is no deluca entry Okay. Okay. Daphne, uh, you are currently in the pawn shop investigating a double homicide where uh, the ugly sisters were crucified on the uh, roof supports. It wasn't me. You have been eliminated <laughs> for the time being because Zodar is apparently their primary suspect. <laughs> Billy. His name's Billy. It's uh, Billy. It's Zodar. Uh, <laughs> Camille and Zadar have both investigated, uh, surmising or noticing that both women have been tortured, were most likely dead before their hands were nailed into the rafters and hung some 10 feet high. Uh, Zadar has found that there is no money missing, uh, but he has also found a slip of paper uh, that is coded. Mm. Oh, with a cipher? So, yep. Yeah. So everybody give me an intelligence check. Oh, fuck. Lord knows I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm uh, 13. Six. What, you, you rolled a three? <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> wow. Nice. None, of, none of you recognize the cipher on this scrap of paper. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, Kibble and Harris are following you both around, taking copious notes as to what you're doing and asking you, all three of you, if you have to touch everything. I turn around and I touch him on the head. <laughs> well, you're the same size, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so the sisters, were they like humans? What were they? I believe they were human sisters. So it would have I, to take somebody pretty big to put him up there. Yes. I'm going to summon Omen. Okay. And uh, check uh, for... Checking the traffic. Checking, <laughs> checking for anything hidden by invisibility or any waft of poison. So. Uh, give me an investigation check by that. Okay. Or can he automatically see secret shit? He can automatically see secret there, shit. There is a secret cache in the wall. It's going to uh, expose a safe. Okay. Uh, so he conveys this to me. And I start to walk over to the wall. And um, uh, is there a painting or something hanging? Uh, no. Oh, it, okay. It's behind uh, a faux wood rafter portion. Oh, okay. Um, I try to move the foe. It, it moves portion. easily. Okay. Uh, there is a large locked trunk in there. Uh, Daphne, the gnome investigators, Gibble and Harris, are looking you up and down, and one of them, Harris, says, what's happening, hot stuff? <laughs> did you see what I did there? Did you see that? Did you? Cause she's a tiefling. <laughs> 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 they're they're gnomes, by the way. The gnomes that know? Do you guys know? No, these guys are investigators with the guards. Hmm. Uh, 
I wink at them, and I'm like, yeah, I know I'm hot slow. <laughs> Give me a <your> charisma. <laughs> Have they noticed that I've found this no, secret cache? They're focused on Daphne. 20, okay. but not natural. Yeah, they're focused on Daphne. Okay. okay. Well, let's uh, open this shit up. <laughs> I'm going to check it for traps first. With me, Chand. <laughs> Candy ass. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, what am I doing? Investigation? Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, that- yes, for that, do investigation. 17. Uh, it does not appear to be trapped. Okay. Uh, I'll break out my handy dandy lock picking tools. <laughs> cool. Camille, are you still investigating the bodies? Uh, no. Okay. I was thinking about hitting one of the gnomes with my staff, but since they're in entranced with Daphne, I'll back yeah. up Zadar. Just let them be. Yeah, I'll just let them be. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you are next to the jewelry rack, so you can try on jewelry, and they can go ahead and, and give you thumbs oh. up and thumbs down. Yeah. yeah. Your horns. Yeah. Some rings. Rings. That's right. You guys want to see how many r- rings I can put on my horns? <laughs> yes. Yes. <sir. laughs> I uh, start doing they are <laughs> completely entranced. <laughs> uh, Zadar, go ahead and give me a performance check on unlocking it. Okay. And 20, not natural. That doesn't do it? Mm-mm. Appears to have a double lock system to it. Oh, what wow. You? Can I take another crack at it? You can. Okay. Yeah. No. Huh. 16. Yep. You're going to need keys. <clears throat> okay. Really? We can't break it. You can. That will attract uh, Gibble and Harris. Eh, yeah. No, let's, uh, let's check the counter and all that for keys. See if there's a key ring or. I checked the bodies. There you go. That's where they're at. <laughs> the keys each. are on the body. Yep. Okay. Necklace. Okay. I toss it down to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne, they would also like to see more rings. Um, I'm going to grab some bracelets and be like, oh, we could wrap these around and maybe put a necklace going like this way. Yes, maybe there's, yes, hand- we could do. Maybe there's handcuffs. Oh, nice. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and then uh, I'd be like, ooh. Let's, let's put some of these on you. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> T- tactile will get you everywhere with these boys. Uh, Zidar, you apply both keys and the lock opens. Inside is several thousand gold pieces worth of bars. Oh, oh Lord. Wow. Uh, it's a pawn shop, man. It does good business. <laughs> Obviously, business is good. Can we put it back? Yeah. Let anybody know we found it for now. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you notice your friends are fiddling with a large box and discussing it. Uh, they give you the high sign to make sure that you keep Higgins and uh, Magnum or Gibble and Harris, whatever the fuck they are. That's, yeah. that's what I should have named them. Cagney and Lacey. Yeah, well, no, and no, 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 Cagney and Lacey. Can't do that. That's All right. Uh, Let, yeah, let's Mag- call it Starsky Mag- Mag- and Hutch. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Daphne, you do your best to keep them busy. Uh, and you guys put the box back. Put the bunny back. Yeah. Uh, that is it. Aside from going through the ledger one by one, which is currently held by Gibble has it. Uh, and that is his intent. He is going to take the laborious approach of making sure that everything in the ledger is still present. Okay. Uh, do I, do I catch them singing like that awful David soul song? Don't give up on me, baby, or something to, <laughs> to, to, to Daphne. Nope, they need to get to their uh, red horses with white stripes. and <laughs> ass. Exactly. The grand Torinos. That's right. So there you go, boys and girls. Our pop reference for tonight. (laughs) 
for you elders. Yeah, yeah, that's old people. Kate, Caitlin's uh, thinking, uh, where is uh, Vince Vaughn? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He was in the remake. She doesn't even know who Vince Vaughn is. She's oh my just, god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so old. What Watch. are we referencing? I don't know. I saw Cloud Starsky after and Hutch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Starsky and Hutch. We should probably go see Zephyr's dad and find out more about the box. Yeah. Um, Since it was here. Yeah. Did I give that back to him yet? Yes. Oh, hmm. the box? No. Hmm. I know what's in it, though, right? You do know what's in it. Okay. Right, does if the you DM, think that's a good idea. Does the DM want to tell us what's what was in it? Was it just the missives? Or, okay, the one where they were going to send Zephyr away, and then the, uh, the three assholes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we know what's in it, and I've seen it, so I can replicate it with an illusion if I need to reference it again. So, all right, uh, let's, let's see about returning this. And if he has, I did not look inside. As uh, Zodar and Camille approach Daphne, uh, Gibble and Harris turn to you and go, did you solve it yet? <laughs> No, we left that for the experts, guys. You're doing a great job. Well, good. Get the hell out of our crime scene. Daphne, you can stay if you'd like to go ahead and help us because you can reach tall things. Do I get to keep the jewelry? Uh, no, can I just casually walk out? Like, it's still on there? Like, I look good, guys, right? Uh, give me a deception check. <laughs> as far as they know. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> uh, we kind of need the jewelry back. <laughs> Are you sure you need the jewelry back? Uh, I'm afraid. Guys... I'm, I'm afraid so. It clearly yeah. shows here that you are you are not the owner, and we would hate for you to be accosted by uh, Uma Thurman. Oh, oh crap! Put yeah, Daphne, put that shit put back. back. <laughs> Why would Uma Thurman need, need to pawn jewelry? <laughs> Why would Uma Thurman yeah. need to pawn jewelry? And pay for that a gargoyle? A, yeah, <laughs> exactly. She's got to rebuild her turret. Thanks to Carol's face. <laughs> yeah. uh, as you guys exit the building, everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, Ten. Wow. Pirate dog dice, folks. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne? 19? Daphne, you see Lucky Luciano headed up the street. She doesn't know who he is, I think. Should I catch up? I guess. I, uh, I, I, I Daphne, look at you Daphne. notice a, a, a suspicious looking individual walking away quickly from the area. Uh, if you point them out to Zadar and Camille, they will tell you that is Lucky Luciano, somebody of interest. All right, let's go up to them then, right? Or skulk behind them? Like, we could, like, kind of, like, because it's three of us, like, like, two people on one side, someone behind or something. Well, I, right. I know for sure Daphne's going to grab his attention, so. Uh, that's <laughs> true. He is walking away, though. Okay. I'll take stealth checks for that idea, please, by okay. all three of you. Okay. Uh, uh, 28. Should have had that for the safe, but we found the keys. <laughs> After I'm not the stealthiest at a solid seven. Uh, as a solid seven, you step in some kind of mule shit and exclaim loudly, damn it, I've stepped in crap! <laughs> uh, does Lucky notice? With a two, Lucky will not hear that. Uh, as you guys follow him serendipitously, he heads into Hebo's Herbs, which is across from the government building, and it is... Is that a local dispensary? <laughs> 
Uh, it is actually. Awesome. <laughs> So he's going to Hebo's Herbs. This uh, item right here is... That's the skull, isn't it? That is the skull. So you okay. have uh, the skull here. Mm -hmm. And he is going into Hebo's Herbs. Aww, okay. so cute. Nothing but love <laughs> for you guys. Aw. All right. So let's, let's go into there. Herb Not shop. you, David, the chicks. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. What do you guys want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna change my shape. I'm gonna shape shift again, and uh, basically, I'm gonna <laughs> look like a version of like Brad Pitt, you know, uh, with with like blonde dreadlocks, <laughs> kind of like from uh, True Romance. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy okay. on the couch. Yeah. Smoking weed out of the honey bear. Cleaning, to, yeah, don't forget to get cleaning products. <laughs> wow. Hey, I can remember that line, so. Well, you and Camille are apparently the only two that have seen it, so 50 Probably. This group doesn't Come get. on, Quentin Tarantino's first movie. We're old. Right. What movie is this? Oh. True Romance. If it's not Are Reservoir Dogs it? or Kill Bill 2. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Okay. Yeah, I'll go in. Okay. Uh, as you go in, uh, you notice that Lucky Luciano has Hebo up off his feet, and he's saying, you're going to give us what you owe us. Oh. So he's uh, shaking down the proprietor. Has he noticed us yet? Uh, no, but Hebo has. Oh, okay. And he meekly says, is there something I can do for you people? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, and I walk in, you know, I make my eyes kind of bloodshine. <laughs> and like, oh, Hebo, what's up, man? <laughs> it's just like, uh, why don't you guys take off? Because he and I are doing business. Didn't you see the sign that said closed on the door? Skedaddle. Oh, dude. Okay. That's okay. harsh. Wow. Yeah, that, that's harsh, it. man. We got some business with Evo, too. Can't, can't wait. Can't, can't yeah. wait. Can't yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's going to wait. And he pokes Zadar uh, rather firmly in the chest. Oh. It's uh, just like, oh, man, you're serious. I'll take oh. initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And which one is this? Lucky. Lucky. Okay. All right. Sadar got a 23. Daphne and Camille? Five. Eight. You guys suck. <laughs> uh, Zanari poked you first. Uh, Hebo is in a Hippo uh, mm -hmm. on the side of the countertop from where Lucky dropped him. Uh, and he's squaring off with you. So bring it there, big man. <laughs> I start laughing. <laughs> and point to Camille. <laughs> and all that. And he's going to have to do a fucking wisdom check. <laughs> He is not very smart. You don't have to be smart when you're rolling at 20. Oh! <laughs> Boy, he's motivated today. The boss must have really came down on his ass. He uh, looks at you three, looks back at Zadar, and just... <clears throat> well, that was rude. Uh, I, I Uncanny dodge. 17. Okay, what do I have to do for an uncanny dodge to avoid it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just roll off against you, I guess? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do it that way. Kyle, where the hell are you? Uh, 14. Oh, 14. Oh. oh, we're doing D20s. Okay. Are we just straight 20s? I was going to do straight 20. Okay. I think it's like minus something, like a D4. Oh. Okay. Folks at home, I don't really know 5e. Really no, don't we don't know. <laughs> eh, you know, we just play for fun. Uh, or, huh. Let me, let me check fun. something real quick. Sure. <laughs> this is like 
duh, I'm the rogue. I should know. You so. should know. Players should always know what the fuck they're doing. I think I think it's just know. a bonus action. Yeah, you can take a bonus action on each of your turns to dash, disengage, or hide. Mm. Uncanny dodge. When an attacker that you see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try to have the damage. Well, he's going to punch you, which is a big plus. Uh, the big minus is you got a little bit of strength behind him. Three plus two, five, have Take two hit points of damage. A glancing blow cracks you in the jawline. Uh, that brings us to the eight. Daphne, uh, you've just witnessed this Goomba. Uh, yes, that's kind of a racial slur, but oh well. I was about uh, to say, man. Uh, but uh, it's not a horrible one. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Lucky Luciano has punched Zadar, a.k.a. Brad Pitt, in the face. What would you like to do? Go up and hit him. Or okay. with my, yeah, stab him. <laughs> now, he, stab has him. Not, he has not drawn any weapons at this time. Mm. Just saying. I if you want to stab him, go ahead. But I'm just saying, he has not drawn a weapon. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm suggesting non-lethal, because this guy's connected. <laughs> it's up to you. Stab Can that I tie him with a rope? You, yeah, so rope. you're going to try and lasso him? You're going to have to grapple him first. Yeah, you'll have to grapple him to tie him up. How do I do that? Uh, we roll off. You add your strength. And... I'll, I'll roll d20s, add your strength bonus, or your dex modifier, whichever, uh, and I will roll against you. All right. And that is a 19 <laughs> plus 3, so that's 22. Well, he's a, I didn't he's a do beefy it. guy. Nope. I'm at okay. 9. Uh, you uh, attempt to grapple him, and he just kind of nudges you off like it's the Stanley Cup. Camille, you're up. And I yell, bear hug! <laughs> I'll do a shocking grasp. Mm. One. <laughs> Bow to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. Top of the order is Zidar. Uh, yeah, Lucky's got a little beef behind him. Yeah, he's got a little beef, but I'm kind of Nemo is hiding behind the countertop. He's seriously afraid to move. Okay, so I am going to do an unarmed strike. Uh, let's see. Uh, 17. Uh, oh, yeah, that hits. Okay. He's going to take two points of bludgeoning damage, and I'm going to uh, sneak attack, sucker punch him. I'm going to kind of shift and... I'm going to suck a punch him. So. Knee to the dick? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So, let's see. All right. Remember, if you're ever in a fight, there are no rules. There are no <laughs> rules. Uh, seven more points of damage. Uh, he is not going to appreciate that. Is he going to draw a weapon? He is not. Uh, he is going to attempt to deal a... Uh, cross and then an uppercut on you. Oh, I don't think so. 14s. Nope. Not Swings yet. wildly. Daphne, you're up. So he hasn't taken his weapon out. Has not taken his weapon out yet. Is his weapon visible? Oh, yeah. He's got a short sword. Can I steal his short sword? put it on the dead body sure go ahead see if you can hit the short sword wait he's dead no <laughs> no <laughs> but but you're gonna try and pull it all out of his scabbard while he's fighting with zadar yes exactly yeah go ahead so he's and see. right yeah you gotta you gotta do the attack roll to grab his sword just my regular attack straight up attack roll if you want to use Dex as a modifier, that's fine. Oh my god, what's going on? Six? Six. Uh, very nice. His short sword is not located in the crack of his ass. You have missed. Camille, you're up. <laughs> Ew. Um, I'll do Ray of Sickness. Okay. 
And I do 10. Yikes. Uh, he throws up a bit. <laughs> Zadar, you're up. Wow, okay. Uh, looking around, is there a bong on the counter? D12 against me. <laughs> okay. A hookah, maybe. Uh, eight. Three. Sure. Uh, there is a very ornate glass hookah right there with uh, seven brass nozzles. Oh, this is be This is too beautiful to destroy. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to improvise. It, weapon. it is in the shape of four naked ladies. Oh, I am definitely not destroying that. <laughs> okay. Maybe since he's getting sick, you could convince him that he should partake of the hookah. It helps with nausea. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, dude, you okay? I mean, maybe maybe a little hit will, will help you. You know, you're right. And <laughs> he, he swings two more punches to try and hit you. <laughs> Oh, connects with a 19 on the undercut. Okay. Uh, I've six hit points of damage as he rocks your world, uh, but his cross missed you. So okay, thank God. This punch. <laughs> That's how he got Earnhardt. Uh, yeah. Daphne, you're up. Wait, he's still trying to attack us? He's not going to smoke the thing? No, he's no, kicking no, the he's shit a... out of Zadar now. He... he... He's a thug, man. He's not a thug in like the modern sense. So he's probably not interested in the herb. Should I should, should, and look at Zadar? Should we attack him till he's almost dead? Uh, I say I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm like I'm gonna try one more thing. <laughs> uh, what is this a knitting circle? Do your own work. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys want to chat, go to a chat room. You're in the you, middle of a fucking fight. If, <laughs> if you want, you can take an ar unarmed strike against him. Wait, are we in like a bedroom? No, we're in a head shop. <laughs> a hookah, hookah store. Uh, Weed store. You guys are yeah. in our herbology. It's Hebo's Herbs Herbs. Store. And Hebo is getting roughed up. Trying to think where they would sell. There's like a tapestry, maybe. Yeah, there's probably a tapestry. Probably, here. yeah. It's got I a big piece to symbol tapestry. with a giant weed in the center of it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I, I, I steal a tapestry, take a tapestry to throw on top of his face. Strength roll to yank it down. Dexterity to avoid getting draped over like a ghost. Dexterity to throw it over him. Wow. I didn't even think I pulled it off the wall at an eight. No. <laughs> That's up there. <laughs> uh, Camille, uh, while Daphne's trying to redecorate and Zadar is rubbing the boobs on the hookah, getting nice. punched in the face, you're up. I'm, uh, I'm like still holding my chin, but still looking at that hookah. <laughs> uh, Remember, there's only seven brass fittings and there's four female forms. So. <laughs> All right, I'll go back to Rave. <laughs> Three. Yeah, I got an idea. Uh, he's still up and running, Zadar. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's try again. It's just like, whoa, man, you're 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 really harsh in my buzz. Um, yeah, I I I think you need a nap. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna cast sleep. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, la, 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 la. let's see what this how this goes. All right. Um, uh, let's see. I think it's. I'm trying to remember what it is. I think it's five d eight. Something five d eight or five d six. Something. Yeah, like it's five d eight. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'll tell you what the pool is. So. Yeah. All right. Come on, big bucks. No whammies. 24. Wah, wah. He, he does this. <laughs> I, actually, hold on. He unsheathes. 
Oh, man. <laughs> a 14 and 11, so an 18 and a 15? Uh, the, the 18 hits. Blood is in the water. I'm just like, oh, dude, you just fucked up. Six damage. Uh, Daphne, as you're holding on to the peace, love, and sex tapestry, you notice you hear the familiar shing of a sword being pulled out. Uh, Blades are in the open. I'm going to stab him. There you go. Like I wanted to. 19 to hit. Yep. Five damage. Okay. Uh, Camille, you're up. Blood is on the floor. Okay, I'll be whacking him with my staff. Uh, no fog, please. Uh, 18? 18. Uh, uh, He's easy to hit. He just has a shit ton of points. One. Staff blows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zadar with a uh, gash on your arm. You've been cut. He cut okay. you, Nick. He cut you. He, he cut me. Okay. How far away is he from me? He's right there. Okay. Uh, damn it. All right. I'm going to uh, bonus action, disengage, kind of do like a... F- like a roll on the floor, like backwards, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to let two flying daggers fly. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, uh, The first one's not going to hit an 11. No. Second one. Now the dice roller is rolling shitty. 19. (laughs) Uh, That one does hit, though. Okay. All right. That's going to strike him for a total of six points. Eh, You're chopping him down. Uh, uh, it's all random now. First swing, four, going after Zadar. And Camille is the second swing. So Zadar, 12 plus 4, 16. 16 misses. 19 plus 4, 23 on Camille. Oh, crap. Five hit points of damage as he slashes through your robe. Uh, Camille, it's on like Donkey Kong. Ah, we gotta get some different dice out here. Okay. Camille, you're up. Or, I'm sorry, Daphne, you're up. My bad. Casually go to hit him again. Oh, a 10 to hit? Hey, blades are out. If you want you want to go swords, <coughs> now's the time. <laughs> oh, she tried that last time. Oh. All three of your dice are rolling like shit. Camille, you're up. They're virtual dice. Uh... I don't know. 13. Beyond. Uh, 13 is not enough. Uh, you also notice that Hebo has reached up, grabbed the naked lady hookah, and put it behind the counter so it doesn't get broken. Really? Top of the order. Really? Zidane. You couldn't help us out? He's a meek little man. Hey, baby. he's keeping that bong safe, man. <laughs> You're up, Zidar. Okay. Yeah, he's really pissed me off this time. So uh, with that, uh, I pulled the scimitar. And um, yeah, I'm going to make a scimitar attack. And since there's more than one people engaged with him, uh, Mm -hmm. that leaves him open to sneak attack. Uh, 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a total of nine points of damage, followed by sneak attack. <clears throat> uh, 2d6. Uh, let's see. Uh, for only an additional three points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> he is alive. Uh, this time, the first roll of attack He's going to do something weird, and then he will attack normally on the second one. The first person he's going after is a four. Zadar, second is (laughs) six. uh, Daphne, Uh, Zadar, he reaches up and flips his blade, cutting a line. Uh, Make sure he cuts it. He cuts it. Uh, A flag falls down from the ceiling, 
DC 14 versus dexterity or you're wearing a pride flag. <laughs> nice. Hey, all right. Got a uh, sport, West, man. Yeah. Hey. Orc Lives Matter flags next. Looks like I'm wearing a fucking flag. <laughs> okay, you will be fighting. Oh, <laughs> you will be fighting at disadvantage for that one. Uh, Daphne, he's going to try and hit you. Gotta show some pride. <laughs> uh, nine plus four is 13. I assume that's a miss. Uh, you are up. He's looking pretty bad. Me? I'm up? No, yes, your turn. He's looking bad. Uh, try to attack again. 20, not natural to hit. That hits. Any more than three hit points and he's dead. I did 10 damage. Down goes unlucky Luciano. Uh, the pool of blood grows beneath him. Hey, Luke, I licked the blood. Oh, she beat me to it. Oh, I was going to press the digitate it, guys. Uh, oh. uh, you still can do that. That, that. That's the best thing about being a rogue with magic, is I can do shit like that. Ebo peers over the counter. You killed him. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, yeah, man. I, I we we killed him. <laughs> uh, you search his body, and you find... 85 gold pieces on him uh, mm. with four slips of paper. Okay. okay we gotta um, do something to get rid of this body, though. I, I look at the, the pieces of paper. Uh, you see a rainbow flag covering your eyes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> I look at the papers. Uh, I, yeah, I take the rainbow flag off. Uh, the papers say the Ottoman, a stitch in time, oh. and uh, ale house. Damn, those are all businesses on this block, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get rid of this guy. Um, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe I can help with that. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, um, hey, Hebo, you, you got like an alley or something out back? Uh, yeah, it's out back. Do you have okay. a dumpster or something? No, a D and D dumpster services have not yet been invented. <laughs> and yeah, they're not invented yet. We have them in Lafayette, Indiana. We don't have them. <laughs> in All right, I cover Lucky's body with the pride flag. Ooh, good, good, good. And, yeah, um, I feel bad, but yeah. I wanted that flag for my house. Well, we could use. Well, the okay. I tell you what. Use the I'll, tapestry. I'll, I'll tell you what, Daphne. Yeah, let's try to yank the tapestry down. Yeah, and... nah, the blood on it like adds that pizzazz that I need. That I love. you want exactly. the blood on it? I could clean it. I mean, it's it's up to you. You want it as is? It's a warrior oh, gay pride flag. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Oh, where did the cape? There, you took my <laughs> idea. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we wrap them there in the tapestry. There you go. Uh, we wrap them in the tapestry. <laughs> yeah. And oh, are there pigs around? Uh, that would be an old town. That yeah. would be an old town. That's a ways away. Uh, but that is a damn good idea. So, oh no, that is not a good idea. That is not a good idea. So I guess we put him out back and put some trash uh. over him. I don't know. I don't know. Either that or... Uh... You call yourself murder hobos. <laughs> we can take it apart. I mean... you know, Clearly, you guys have been soft since you've been in the city so yeah, long. That's I'm like, he Hebo, you got some bags, man? A basement. Do you have a basement? We can uh, just literally light them up because there should be matches and cold. I would really appreciate if you didn't burn my shop down. <laughs> no, no. We're no, not there's burn. no cellar here. I... You need to leave. <laughs> well, we're, okay, this we're, is going to be a huge problem. This guy's been shaking me down for months. Well, we can leave. Well, him we're here, trying then, to help you out. Yeah, we can leave him here and you. call the guards. I, I just, you know, I, you know, I don't want my shop burned down. Okay. Oh, are mm. you going to help us out? Uh, I tell you what. Look, Do you have a uh, friend with a cart that could? Yeah, you move a, a, a carpet cart? for us. A D twelve against me. 
<laughs> uh, we get medicinal herbs from the shop. Twelve. Yes, you can. Uh, uh, I got a cart in the back. Okay. Perfect. But there's perfect. straw in it. We don't huh? care. That is perfect. So, yeah. So, I am going to yeah, pick up DeLuca. Boy, this is a big boy, too. Uh, not DeLuca. Lucky Luciano. Uh, l lucky, yeah. He's it's a... going to take at least two of you to carry him. All right. Uh, you might want to leave that to me and Daphne. <laughs> yeah, I am short. Yeah. Well, so are, are you are you wrapping him in the peace, love, and sex no, tapestry? No. Yeah, the tapestry. Yeah. Daphne's yeah. got the cape on. And Daphne has the bloody cape on. Yeah. Just another day in cacophony, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my hair just like <laughs> behind me with the cape. Like somehow there's a fan. <laughs> So uh, wait, wait! I got prestidigitation. I can make like a little gust effect to make your hair go. Yeah, so majestic. <laughs> That's it. With the blood, then the blood's like. No, don't forget what, to put your fists on your hips and. Take I'll put a little halo behind pose. you too. There we go. Yes, there we go. So she's Jesus Wonder Woman is what you're saying? Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, you guys carry out the thing. Uh, both of you roll D20. If one of you choke, uh, an arm is going to come flying out. Okay. Just D20? Just that's D20. Straight up D20. Okay, 19. Solid nine. 19. Uh, after Daphne kind of stumbles, a shoe drops off onto it, but there is no foot exposed. You walk around the back of Hebo's Herbs, uh, and uh, you notice that there is a cart indeed filled with straw. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> we load the tapestry up into it and kind of cover it with straw fair enough okay uh, thank you uh okay then you go back in where camille is at uh and hebo uh he is trying to mop up the blood stain and i got this hebo and i press the digitate it for him i help him straighten up actually a oh, water uh well he appreciates that mm-hmm uh, but he's exceptionally quiet. Okay, Hebo, how how much how often was he shaking you down? Once uh, a week. He was shaking us down every week. Every week. Okay, and and what what day is to this? We're on a ten day, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I take note of the day that it is and all that and. Uh, I say, well, I've got glamour armor, so I'm gonna, I took that as my plus one. <laughs> I am gonna, I'm gonna turn into Lucky. Okay. So. Zadar is now Lucky Luciano. Yeah. Don't freak out, man. So, it's just like, this is how we're gonna get you out of, uh, out of trouble. So, we're just gonna make it say, I'm gonna go to the the next couple stops no okay uh you're no. going to the next stops <laughs> okay fair enough uh the closest place is the touch of grape which is right next door okay we now got... you will be backtracking yeah but before we do we've gotta we gotta get that cart out of here uh rah. there's no horse or anything hooked up to the there's no <laughs> We've got the cart before the horse. So there you go. Literally. The cart is before the horse. Yes. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Um well, if there was a way that we could get somebody in to get we'll leave it for here right now. We'll have to make arrangements to come back and get that cart. <laughs> so all right, so I'm going to keep up appearances and uh, tell Hebo, Hebo, man, nothing happened here today. You don't, uh, as far as you know, Lucky came in and he collected payment. You don't have to pay me. 
and moved on. Uh, she's got the money. She's got the money? Yeah, Camille already got the money. Oh, oh, all right. Well, yeah, we'll we'll give it back to him. So, I think that's a good idea. What do you think, Camille? So, what's going on? I'm looking like Lucky right now, and I'm going to make the, the two other stops. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So, are, are we, we going to give Hebo he- with his money back? Yeah, we'll give him... Give did he give him any back. money since he was getting shaken down? Did he did he turn over the money yet? Are you gonna ask him? Yo, he did you give him any money? No, you walked in. All oh, right. okay. Uh, all right. I say you're good. All right. <laughs> yeah, and but before I go, how much for that bong? Uh ninety. Ninety. All right, man. I think we can get a little, little leverage on, on that price, Ebo. And uh, 10 for the flag. Uh, again, can we get a little leverage on that price? D12. Okay, because I can bring the body back in and we can disappear. Okay. Six. Eight. Uh, 80. <sighs> for both. For both. All right. Um, I tell you what, man. I'm gonna uh, go, go do our go thing. Halves. Huh? Camille will go halvesies. Okay. Yeah. So she's going halves. Yeah. We're we're go, we're gonna put in for it. Forty and forty. Forty and forty. All right. All right. We'll this do trip's it. costing you a lot of money, Zadar. <laughs> uh, you guys leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, and were you going to the touch of the grape next door? Uh, yes, that, that was the next stop, right? Yep. All right. You guys walk in and, uh, the Vintner. Throws you a bag of coins. Get out. Yeah. Just get out. Just yeah. get out. Uh, uh, I kind of. Nice flag. Walk. I'm not wearing it. Daphne is. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. She's behind me. Yeah, you got some red on it. <laughs> I'm like, I know. I have no idea who this chick is. So <laughs> I'll wink at Daphne. <laughs> okay. uh, he apparently wants you out. Okay. So, all right. Uh, move, next stop move is out. Stitch in Time. Okay. And that is right on the corner next to the government building. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. As you leave uh, the touch of the grape, everybody perception. Perception. Solid six. Thirteen. Uh, Seventeen. Seems to be a uh, civic gathering of protesters again. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, uh, we're, but they're we're not. The government we're, building. Yeah, we're not heading there. So. <laughs> Uh, next up is, uh, stitch in time. Okay. So walk in the door, little bell rings, ding, ding, ding. Uh, the tailor is there. (sighs) Yeah. Throws you a bag, uh, insight. Okay, uh, not very insightful. 12. Got your coins. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, give them a nod. Mm. I'll walk uh, on the out. last one on the list was the Ottoman, which is okay. next door to the stitch in time. Okay. I'd, oh, man. Auto man. Auto man. It's a furniture store. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. A Russian okay. furniture store. Seventeen. Twenty. Uh, let's see. Uh, papa, perception. Uh, sixteen. All Nothing three left. of you notice guards are headed to Hebo's shop. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. So we're like s- 
skirting around to the ottoman. <laughs> you uh, arrive at the ottoman. A guy wearing a blue fez is in there. Yes, yes. How may I help you? Do you make need me to ask? What? He's not volunteering. Did this gentleman look, have an appointment with look, you today? Man. Yeah, it's just like, I don't want anything. Uh, I'm not here for furniture. You know that. I know that, but I have called some friends, and they suggested that I stop paying you. And what friends are those? Let's just say they are in very high positions in the city council. Perhaps mm. you should go talk to them. Perhaps I should. We're inside the store right now. Mm -hmm. Is there a white couch? D12 against me? Yeah, is there a white leather couch? Boy, that would be Ten. awesome. Not even. It doesn't even have to be leather. Okay. There isn't even a red couch in there. Is there a <laughs> bathroom in this place? I have a piss bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was just thinking, if we have to go back out, Zadar is probably going to need to change what he looks like. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, nah, I can... Uh, I'll take care of that. I mean, I can change at the speed of a thought. Um, all right. I said, look, man. All right, there's not going to be any problems today. I understand your situation. I kind of wink at him. It's just like, I'm not lucky. And... Uh, yeah, you have a good day. You aren't lucky? Nope. So. Uh, he is understandably confused, but yeah. as you leave, uh, he yells, nice flag. <laughs> I wink and said, thank you. Uh, you guys go outside, everybody perception check. As far as he knows, it's just lucky saying, I wasn't here. <laughs> Pretty much. Seven. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Perception? Perception. Eleven. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, yeah. Normal yeah. day in cacophony. Okay. And, are you and still I, lucky? Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't shifted for him yet. Uh, I'm looking at it, so that's everybody on the list, right? It is. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So on that, is there like, uh, all, all the shops are like connected with the same alley, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much there's like a perpen, per, like a, you know, side of the building alley, but there's like an alley running completely along the back of the buildings. You guys have gone, uh, and or did we cross stamp. over? Stamp. Okay. Originally, you came from here. Yeah. Uh, you went to Hebo's. Yeah. And you went to Touch of Vintners. Right. Then you went here. Mm hmm. Uh, and then you went here. Look at all these hard and it <laughs> Okay. So we're at the Ottoman right now. Correct. So okay. we should probably go to the government center. Uh, yeah, but I want to take care of some business for, before that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's no back alley or anything like that, right? Or any any way to get in. You can go into the plaza, and all these black lines are alleyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll, we'll I'll duck into the nearest alleyway. Mm -hmm. Right there by uh, Folly's Finery, the Weaver. Okay, and I'm going to turn into Zadar. Yeah, adventure pin, sh adventure pin showing and all that. D12. Uh, seven. Certainly appears as though you are fine. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, on that note, uh, yeah, I'm going to make uh, the three stops again. <laughs> We're backtracking. Okay, so you're going back into the Ottoman store? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Little deception. Okay. I think you've forgotten something, but okay. I've forgotten something? We'll see. Oh, uh, you I go back into the Ottoman store. Uh, no, 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 no. I make sure my clothes have changed, too. <laughs> sure, that's fine. Okay. I'm trying to think, what am I forgetting? 
Daphne. <laughs> what about me? Okay, Daphne, you you hang you hang out back. So, um, mm-hmm. so yeah, I'm gonna go into the ottoman. So, guy in the blue fez is there. How may okay. I help you? Yeah, it's just like uh, I'm from the guild, man. Um, uh, I'm investigating. Um, I thought I saw a lucky coming in here. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see him. Didn't see anybody. Okay. Would you well, like to buy this ottoman? It is. It is, uh, is nice Camille ottoman. with you, or is she outside with Daphne? I think she's yeah, outside with outside. Daphne. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Daphne and Camille perception. Seventeen. Daphne. Seven. Uh, Daphne doesn't notice, but Camille notices that the guards uh, are circulating throughout the area, going into different stores. Okay. Uh, they seem to be. Uh, no, you don't know that are. <laughs> okay. They are uh, coming north to south. Okay. So. Uh, so uh, the business that are. What do you want to do? I am talking to Fedsman, and it's just like, look, I'm here investigating. Uh, I think I. Uh, some businesses around here were getting shake, shaken down. I've got a list. Your store was on one of them. Uh, was lucky taking payment from you. That's all you got to do. Say yeah or whatever. You know, nobody has to know the information comes from you. I don't know what you're talking about, friend. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. Caca! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, in case you change your mind. What are you, an infant? We've got these. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I, I tell I, I tell him, it's just like, look, if you need help or whatever, you know where to reach us. So, and I'll You're go gonna buy and something or not? It's like, I've got my eye on that couch, caca, man. Caca. So, so, uh, so I'm leaving. <laughs> so, I'll be back, man. As you go outside, Camille's already uh, notified Daphne that the guards are headed this way. Okay. We got to get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, we do. Let's go to the government building. Okay. Yep. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to tell them we killed Lucky? No! (laughs) So, okay. We just need to go and talk to what's-his-face, and then is the prison also in the government building? No, the prison's in the hillside district. Okay. Across from the uh, guild. Mm. So, do we want to talk to the lady with the poison? Um, uh, uh, she gave it to me though. But okay, um, she gave it to Billy Idol is who she gave it. To yeah, me. that's who she gave it to. Yeah. Well, I'm back in that form. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, God, I feel bad switching forms like that. Still in this form. Okay. Uh, I say. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Dibble. Okay. So anyway, all right. Let, let's go to the government. Building. If you aren't going to buy anything, get out. Yeah, we're, I've already left. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the guards are headed this way. You will need to make a hasty uh, cut over to the government building. Okay. I do that. Trying, trying not to be. Or right. it's Camille and Daphne seeing me leave. Yeah, you walked out and changed form. Okay. All right. So they're following. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you walk to the front of the government building. Uh, what did we name that guy? Swabby Steve. I Swabby forget. Steve or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. You're here. Yes. Nothing but love, brother. We're here, oh. brother. Um, yeah, we're, we're. Is that all you do, Mop? Uh, this place doesn't clean itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you, you're doing a fine job, man. You're doing a fine job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here to see? Uh, f- uh, I, I'm trying to think. Who would give us access to a prisoner? 
No, he's more than a janitor. He's Swabby Steve. Yeah, this isn't so, the like, jail. Do you have keys to like get everywhere to clean everything? Maybe Frank Burns could help you out. Oh man. Ah <laughs> uh, la la. Um, God, I don't know where to go with this. So, uh, we've. Uh, all right. How far? Where? Where's the jail from here? So, like, right across the way? Uh, the jail's, like, right here. Okay. So, so it, it's a little bit away from the government building, right? Correct. Okay. It's over by the military academy, the naval school. Academy. Yeah. And the stables. Damn it. Okay. Uh, and I, I look to Camille, it's just like, uh, I have no idea who our allies are in this. Uh, you have two, none, and your corner. Right. Uh, currently, you guys are in the government building. Yeah. How about we go see his oh, dad? Oh, yeah. I need to get reimbursed. He's not there. Where is he? I don't know. Last I knew, he was going over to the market district for something. Something about a flute. Probably skin flute. <laughs> oh, good one, good one. I whack him. <laughs> I before he does, she does. I high five him. I'm like, oh. <laughs> hit uh, Swabby Steve. Yeah. Nope. Uh, Crap. Nineteen. Oh yeah, right in the nuts. Aww. All right, Swabby Steve. Keep it clean from now on. Ha <laughs> ha. Clean. <laughs> 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 Phrase. Keep it clean. Dumbass catchphrase. <laughs> okay. Uh, as he groans and falls in his head into the bucket, further endearing you to Swabby Steve, uh, where do you want to go? Do we want to try to find Zephyr's dad? Do we want to try to go see the prisoner? Uh, I don't know. What else was on our agenda tonight? I mean, somebody's going to have to give us access. Uh, is that correct? Uh, to see a prisoner? We'll need permission, right? We're adventurers. We just... You guys haven't been to the jail go do before. It. Okay. Let's go to the jail. Oh. Uh, mm. No, I... Mm. Okay. No, it's just I got all this cash that, that Lucky has collected. It's just like you know, I mean, I kind of wanted to let them know that, you know, I don't know, come up with some kind of ruse, tell me he's under investigation, here's the money back, or whatever. Well, we'll keep the money. I mean, we'll give it back to him. Yeah. Yeah. We're adventurers, we can't do that. No, no, we gotta give it back. So, so on the way to the jail, is the adventurer's guild mm -hmm. nearby at all? Uh, yes. So okay. why don't we, on the way to the jail, we drop off the money? Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, I'll tell you. Tell you what. I'm, I'll. Oh, I. I don't want to implicate from under in all this. So I was gonna say maybe we can get him to give the money back or, you know, send somebody. You ain't talking to Fumunda today. Well, here's the thing, though. No. If they know we have it, they're gonna know that we were in contact with the guy that's dead. Yeah. In flagrante. Yeah. Delecto. Uh, as you guys leave the government building, uh, you notice a couple of things. First and foremost, you notice that there is a growing collection of guards over those herbs. Oh. I'll now take investigation from each of you, please. Okay. 20. Uh, 11. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, 16. Uh, Camille, you notice uh, Frankie Two Fingers is hovering on the outskirts of the investigation at Hebo's. Ah, fuck. Zadar, you notice an individual that just slinked into the shadows, perhaps human female, perhaps dark clothing. Mm. Damn it, she's out again. Yeah, but she doesn't know who I dun, am. Dun, 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 dun. She's Jason Bourne. 
Jason at Bourne. <laughs> Jason at Bourne. Ah, uh, man. Well, it's probably Zephyr. She saw you as Billy Idol, right? I don't know if that's Zephyr or not. <laughs> that could be my girlfriend. <laughs> so. I really pissed her off last time. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic when I say girlfriend. So, uh, well, that looks suspicious. I mean, she, should we just keep up with our business for today and just see? There, there are certainly a lot of odd fish in this game. Odd fish in the game, yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, let's just, I tell you what. Let's, this game stinks, but it smells all a lot better now. Yeah. Let's just uh, keep alert. Let's uh, make our way to the jail. So that's where we're going. Well, Guild Hall, jail. Okay. Yeah. I hope you're happy I'm giving up coffee for this. We'll get some later. <laughs> As you walk by, everybody give me a perception at disadvantage. Uh oh. Oh, man, do I really need that? It's hurting all so bad. 11. 11. Uh, my disadvantage is 14. Uh, the investigation seems to be going hot and heavy. Uh, Frankie Two Fingers heads up towards Chuck the Cooper, uh, which is just next to Hebo's Herbs, and he looks disturbed. Uh, as you round the corner, you manage to outflank the guards, go back down the main drag, and reach the Adventurers Guild, which is about a block away. <coughs> excuse me, a block away from the jail slash uh, garrison. Okay. The main garrison building. All right. Um, I guess uh, we'll go to... Is Bamanda up now? The door is locked at the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, you don't have a key? You do have a key. All right. Well, let's go. Right. I'm going. Appears as though it's empty. Nobody. Nobody here. Not even... Do you, do you want to yell out? Like, all the furniture's gone, too, empty? No, it's just uh, nobody's home. you who? <laughs> is anyone home? Yeah. Nobody's around, huh? No answer. We steal everything! No! <laughs> it's, it's our stuff! stuff. <laughs> Do we have a place where we can leave them? I'm gonna go in and take a shit on Fumunda's desk. Oh <laughs> Uh, I bet it's going to be a small shit, so it makes it look like it's Fauntleroy. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Does it? Does the guild have a safe? Uh, you do not have access to the safe. No, we we're not going to have access to that. Um, Your members, you aren't ranking members. Well, for the love of God, we should be. Let's. Um, I should have a box left over from FedEx. Hmm. No that. So, so yeah. So I'll go back to our place <laughs> in the guild, and um, yeah, look for the box. Do I, do I find it? If you left it there, you'll know where it's at. Yeah, yeah. So I take it. I put the payoffs in it, and I'm gonna cast a uh, minor illusion to make it look like a false bottom on top so when you open the box it looks empty so, so you don't trust your fellow uh guild members no it's it's not that i don't want them to get, get implicated, implicated. In there's yeah. an implication Bullshit. exactly like yeah okay. yeah that's fair that they that they didn't know you know so plausible deniability so. sure okay on to the prison Yep. Okay. Uh, you go about a block down, hang a left. Uh, you see Frank Burns tending to a horse, yelling at one of the lackeys that he's doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> you can clearly tell that the lackey is doing it right. And uh, no lips, no chin. Frank Burns uh, is just a dick. Uh, the garrison is just around the corner there, uh, and it is teeming with a hive of activity, including your friends Gibble and Harris. 
Oi. Gib- Gibble. <laughs> Gibble in Harris. Oh, Gibble. look. It's the smart people. Oh, look. We brought your girlfriend. Hmm. Nice flag. <laughs> there seems oh, to be blood on it. What? There seems to be blood on it. Oh, uh, it's her. It's her time of the month. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> I'm, uh, glad, I'm glad Carrie said it and I didn't because, man, that would have been really we misogynist. Were, we were all thinking it. <laughs> we were all thinking it. Uh, but if we would have said it, it would have been just misogynistic shitheads. But since a female said it, that's cool. We can do that. Exactly. Uh, okay, Daphne, congratulations. Don't tell her she's embarrassed. You're still you're still in breeding years. Uh, so. <laughs> misogynistic bullshit right there. Oh, oh, okay. Now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> that's what Gibble and Harris are thinking. Uh, but uh, the dice rolls say. Uh, do they say it? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Um. Uh, 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 what are you guys doing? What you just uh, asked we, about? We are reporting our findings to the boss, the captain. And what? And what did you find, huh? Uh, we found that there is nothing missing from the pawn shop. Gotcha. Mm. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's what we deduced. Also, well, we did, but you gave her an alibi. That so, was the only so suspect dark. you had. A little girl is going to heft a couple of chicks up there and nail her to the rafter. <laughs> She was the last person that we can tell was in there next to you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You guys could certainly haul somebody up there. I'm two feet tall. Yeah, but you use magic. So you could have magic your <laughs> way up there. I'm only level four. I don't have that kind of magic. Whatever. They're like, whatever. <laughs> uh, and they, they had, <coughs> excuse me, they head off. They're going to go get some coffee. Um, uh, well, we have an hour. We have an hour. Oh, sure. We, uh, we have. Um, That's for flipping them off. We 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 have. Um, we that ain't have latte al- foam. We have alibis. We were at the party, so I yeah. have a customer reward card that will ensure you a free coffee. Who, who are you offering this to? I bring myself. <laughs> oh, they got more. <laughs> they got cards, too. All right. Okay. Be off, then. Oh, we'll be <laughs> off. <laughs> Fine. You stayed your hour. Go. <laughs> they leave. Uh, there you are, right in front of the garrison building. Okay. Cops coming in and out. All right. So, yeah, we, we go sauntering in. on in. We need the- to see the lady prisoner. The desk sergeant there, Abe Vagoda, says, what do you want? Hey, fish. Uh... <laughs> Odd fish. Odd hey. fish. Yeah. Now, see, you're going to have to explain to Caitlin who that is. Because no. uh, I know. She has no idea who no Abe Vagoda is. They were off the air 10, 15 years before she was born. Yeah. <laughs> look up, look up Barney Miller after we're done here. Yeah. Or fish. Or fish, oh. yes. He did have a short-lived sitcom. Oh, that's yep. great. He did. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. We're here to see... Do we know her name? We don't. No. Uh, uh, fem- female prisoner that was brought brought in day before yesterday. Oh, that one. Yeah, we just had some questions. So, How many prisoners do you have? How here? many do you have? Oh, I forget. The civil unrest. She was in the civil unrest in front. Oh. Uh, uh, we have 28 people in the can right now. Uh, the civil unrest lady. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's here. Okay. Well, so. hold on. Yeah, she's here. She's here. All can right. we see her? We need to go talk to her. Sure. Barge on in. You got to leave your weapons. Fine. I don't have any <laughs> weapons. What about that stick. You wouldn't take a stick from a feeble young lady, would you? You sauntered <laughs> in here, lady. Give me the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I, practically, I pull, you uh, practically baton twirled your goddamn way in here. We'll take, take a, a I deadpool my Fine. Uh, my scimitar and I, I set it on the desk. It's just like, can we get receipts for this? 
Yeah, sure. Let me type that up. Uh, Daphne, are you going to dump your weapons? Yeah, and it's just like, just so much stuff keeps coming out, like rocks. It's really weird. Fish takes a piece of parchment, scrawls something over, hands it to Zadar, and says, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Go in, uh, and uh, a, a young female half-elf greets you and says, who are they here to see? Uh, the mouthy broad from uh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah, that's who we're here to see. <laughs> Takes you back. Uh, you see a couple of different people. One reaches out. Four tries to grab Skippy. Or, I'm sorry, tries to grab Zadar. Mm -hmm. And Skippy Lee grabs you. You got to get me out of here, man. <laughs> oh, this bastard. Like his fingers. <laughs> uh, he uh, last week he stole the horse that was Famunda's. And it's just like, come on, oh. you got to spring me, man. You owe me. I owe For you. What? How do I owe you? Uh, about that time, a uh, sap, which is a bag filled. I know with what a sap is. Comes across and whacks him right on the hand. Uh, apparently, the young female guard is quite feisty, and Skippy retreats back. I think he likes her, though. Yeah, I, th I think she likes you, man. Oh, yeah. I think I think you you might want to hang out here. I think you innocent. Gotta... It was mistaken identity. Sure, sure, but we were I think there. Just, let's just hold go, on. let's go. I think you got a shot with her. All right. <laughs> uh, so, she leads you back into the bowels of the stinky jail, uh, wow. pointing out, don't kick over the bucket. Those are pee buckets. You, uh, you are here to see Sandra O. <laughs> Sandra O. Oh, my You're God. welcome. It was going to be me. Villanelle. But... I was going to say, where's Villanelle at? Oh, oh obviously that's... I have not seen that show oh, and I that really show want to. It. If you, ha to if you haven't it. seen Killing Eve, you got to watch Killing Eve. The I've pajama got to, episode it is so hot. <laughs> uh, you reach back there and there's it are you recognize the lady sitting on the bench uh, kind of half in half out. Looks as though she got a little bit roughed up. Uh, the, the lady guard Unlocks the door. Sandra, you got company. <laughs> and allows you guys in. Okay. So. Shuts uh, the gate, locks, locks it in, stands back, and just watches you guys to make sure there's no funny business. Right. Uh, especially with a changeling in the room. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't know you're a She doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's just like, um, yeah, remember us? <laughs> I remember you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Did you keep it safe? Yeah, it's safe. So, um, the guard lady give a shit less. She's okay. Checking her phone. You want to tell me where, where really, they don't have dumpsters, but they have phones and TikTok. So, and yeah. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> of course, obviously. So, is she like doing a little dance in front of her phone? No, That's I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, She's doing what Caitlin posts all the time on her Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go take a selfie with her, Caitlin. <laughs> Definitely. No, you three are locked in. Yeah, we're locked in. So it's just like, yes, I got it. It's safe. Uh, why'd you single us out? You guys are adventurers. You got the pins and everything. Yeah, we do. Where'd you Aren't get you that? guys looking to figure out who killed Arwa? Yes. So where where'd you? Arl was not dead. I, was say, I thought he got better. <laughs> no, he got better. He got better, courtesy of Mortimer J. Sneed. Sneed. But she doesn't know that he survived, right? Correct. Nobody knows he survived except the bad guys and you guys. Yeah, and that, I just yeah let it go at that. that yeah, uh, yeah, the stuff that killed him. Where where'd you get it? guard <laughs> so you gotta come in closer <laughs> <laughs> yes I lifted it from Frankie two fingers no oh, oh. Gotcha. here I need that <laughs> wow 
Uh, do do they know that you have it, or you left it in? I I, I I'm not insulting I'd you. Be I'm dead. Well, you're arrested, so that's almost but as bad. I was arrested for civil disturbance, not for that. Yeah, but, but if they knew I was in here, mm-hmm. I'd be dead. Okay, gotcha. So All right. why are you <clears throat> working against the DeLuca family? Who? Well, yeah, those people. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, was there a the reason that you pil- that you pilfered that, or or what? I'm a thief. Of course. I mean, are you working for somebody? I mean, was he a mark or or a casual mark? I mean, he's, some... he's always got gold. Those guys are always shaking down the businesses. Yeah, I uh, grabbed the wrong coin purse, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How was the coin purse? Yeah, yeah, full. It was full awesome. oh, yeah. of a potion bottle. Uh, oh, disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, now we're disappointed. <laughs> I was so. hoping for maybe a reward from you guys. Because uh, I think that's kind of good information that you needed to know. Yeah. Um, Got any money? They Thank took you. all our What are What are you going to do with money in here? <laughs> you know how long you're they're I holding can, you for? We can put some money on your commissary account so you can buy smokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some yeah, squares. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just got to make sure I get out of here before Frankie Two Fingers finds out I'm in here because yeah. he knows I took it. How does he know oh, he took it? Hi, I thought he you were that good. Me. Oh, mm. you weren't that good. <laughs> he chased me. I wasn't there to protest. No, no I was there to were... get away. Yeah. Well, you got away. Um. All right. Let's see. All right. I'll see. I'll see what it takes to get you out of here. So. I mean that I can't make any promises, but I'll I'll do my best. How much uh-huh. do you have? Did they give you bail? I Are don't know. Set? Okay, I'll talk to the guard and all that. So, so I will tell her we're done. We'll see what we can do to get you out of here. So. Uh, the guard guard's a little bit farther down, talking to another guard. Okay, guard. One minute. <laughs> Just gotta finish her TikTok video. Uh, no, she's dealing with Skippy Lee, apparently, and another guard. Oh, okay. So, could we break her out? You are at the back of the jail Hell in the no. garrison okay, building. I'm just throwing it out yeah. there. No, 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 we can't. <laughs> Good news! Uh, behind the two guards, you notice Gibble and Harris, oh, uh, along long. with Fish, and another guard seemingly in charge. Oh, Lord. And you see Harris go, still wearing it. Ah, oh, goddammit. it. Uh, the, guard, it, Caitlin. <laughs> the guards push their way towards your cell and look at Daphne and go, hey, where'd you get the flag? Hey, we went in to get some weed. We bought the flag. She got her period. Don't embarrass her. My girlfriend likes it. It's okay. It's a mm. new look. She sat on the flag. Gibble says, that's good enough for me. And they all leave. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. Okay. I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't trust it either. You guys are locked in a cell. Oh, and they're not going to let us out, are they? What the hell? A few minutes later, the commander of the guards, whom you do not know, says, uh, are you guys comfy? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Got some murder, murder, murder. You're all under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> For what? For what? Uh, murder, murder, murder. Of who? For who? who? Uh, we have two eyewitnesses that say uh, you killed Lucky Luciano in Hebo's shop. Who? Who are the who? witnesses? Hebo and Frankie Two Fingers. Gonna, really? You, yeah. You're gonna trust Frankie Two Fingers? Frankie Two Fingers is an upstanding member of this community. Really? So you so you say? 
Mm-hmm. Um, you pay? Is he? Are you paying him off too? I'm sorry. Could you could you come a little bit closer to the Oh no. <laughs> don't fall for it. Don't, <laughs> Camille, don't fall for it. <laughs> That's okay because they didn't take my dagger. They just took my staff. Yes, you should stab the captain of the guards in the bars while you're locked. No, I'm not <laughs> going to. <laughs> a few minutes later you hear a familiar voice. Uh Okay. I hope it's and, Famunda. <laughs> and a loud, demanding voice it is. is Famunda, these nuts, nice. says, I demand to see my people. Clearly, they are innocent. <laughs> uh, the captain of the guards waves him forward, uh, followed by the young female guard and Harris. Uh, and Harris points out, as you can see, they are wearing the stolen flag still. Did you talk to Hebo? We paid for that shit. Yeah, we, we also didn't steal it. We paid for it. We were customers. We bought a pipe too. We went have these forty and forty. Where is this yeah. pipe? Uh, hello. Uh, did we leave it? Yes. <laughs> oh, we did. Damn it. Awkward. Well, we bought it. It was beautiful, man. Did you, you know, four naked ladies, you know? And you didn't have yeah. to check his register to see that he had an extra eighty gold piece, have these for the flag, whatever. Hebo yeah. is a uh, upstanding businessman here. I'm afraid that Hebo, along with Frankie Two Fingers, has confirmed that uh, you guys were there. And also, uh, we have a new report uh, from. Stitch in Time, uh, who pointed out that uh, she, wearing the flag, uh, was with you when uh, some individual who looked like Lucky Luciano took his money. Uh, I think you better go talk to Lucky Luciano, right? He's dead. Are you sure about that? Uh, unless he can hold his breath a really long time, we found him in a hay wagon behind Hebo's shop. Are you sure it's him? Mm-hmm. Could be his twin. Cause F- Fumunda says, uh, "Can I? Could I have a few <laughs> moments with my associates?" Captain's like, "Sure, take all the time you need. Do you want in the cell?" And Fumunda's like, "I do not want in the cell at this time." <laughs> Uh, smart man the guards all step back and they're back a good distance Fomunda leans in and goes what the hell are you doing wait they walked away from the cell whoa 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 whoa, whoa. a little lower a little lower headache (laughs) (laughs) he's hung over from his party yeah oh well well. look this is how it went down he attacked us he was shaken down Hebo a little pissant who won't stand up for us. Yeah. It got and out of hand. We also have evidence that he was shaking him down. I've got a list written in his hand and the the money that he collected. So it's it's in the it's in the uh Don't. guild. Nope. Uh, it's where you know. So it's where? It's safe. It, yeah. Well, you're going to need it for evidence because you guys are going to trial. How are we going to know whose gold pieces belong to whose gold pieces? Yeah. Really? It's not like it's stamped. Hey. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, are you prepared to represent us? I could try, but she, for God's sake, she's wearing a bloody flag, for God's sake, that was alleged to have been stolen out of Hebo's shop. Well, and, I mean, and she shit. was seen with Lucky Luciano shaking down the Ottoman guy. I think <laughs> Kate, I think Daphne might be not somebody who you thought she was. <laughs> she got her period. Really? Do we need to go yeah. there? She got her period. She needed the flag because she was trying to hide it from her pants and then it got on the flag. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're going to represent us, you might as well know everything. So that would probably be helpful. Yeah. So, so, uh, guard, can we have a little privacy with our attorney? Uh, 
come lawyering up. <laughs> Harris goes. That's good coffee. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you can have five minutes. When okay, I level counsel. up, I am going to zap your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, it's... what are you going to tell Flamunda to clear your name? Yeah. Camille. Uh, you know, I, 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 are, you do it. We might as well tell him everything. Go ahead. So, so okay. <laughs> Here's how it went down. Why did we go into Hebo's anyway? Um, I think we were just we were going. following him. We saw him because yeah. initially we were going to distract him with the tiefling. Yeah. And that didn't yeah. work. So then we just went to follow him and he was already shaking him down. We thought we thought uh Lucky was one of the suspects with the the thing that happened at the pawn shop that we were Why investigating. Why would you think that? I mean, come on, everybody knows he's connected. Do you have proof? No, but you know Do you have proof? Well, we do now. Well, <laughs> you can tell them about when you were... Uh... Oh, no. Uh, the the door is locked. <laughs> You're locked in that Just cell. like a rabbit story. Oh, locked in the uh, No, n n n not, not for Mundo. So, well, no, about, you know, well, go ahead. So we, we tell him everything that happened. We went into Hebo's. He was shaking Hebo down. We interrupted. Of course, we were persistent. You know about him not he robbing was a big Hebo. Guy. I'm sure. Uh, you know he started an altercation. After that, he pulled his dagger, or <laughs> not, or short sword actually. But anyway, uh, you know. Are you guys injured? We had to protect ourselves. Uh yeah, yeah. I show him some of my stuff. Yeah. So you're but, injured. I show I show him the, hey, I the got injured. Yeah, I took, I, the, took I, I show him the the dagger marks and stuff like that because I didn't take a healing potion yet. All three of you have injuries. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check. What else are you going to provide as evidence? Okay. The notes. Yes. The notes. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Where are the notes? Uh, you still have them, don't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they're they're in the bungalow, so they're at the mm -hmm. guild the guild that's what i meant they're at the guild all so, the money like, and the notes there, are at there's the guild. yeah i tell them you'll find everything in the box that we got from fedex there's an enchantment on it all you have to do is just reach past the bottom okay and then the one guy that you said i'm not actually yeah whatever yeah. and you said i'm not taking your money yeah yeah so that was the ottoman shop mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> so whose blood's on the flag uh that's from the altercation that's from that's from lucky because they will be checking daphne's pants so yeah i'm sure they will uh so that's now that you fessed right. up to that <laughs> yeah well, i mean a casual observation you know harris and uh Gibble are gonna be checking out her lady bits. <laughs> no, we have to have a female check out her lady bits because that's disgusting. Uh, sorry, the Supreme Court's not in today, so tough shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, you got anything else for me? Uh, that that's exactly what happened. So you gonna yeah. tell her about? Oh, uh, yeah. Remember that thing that you helped us with before? Uh, we'll have to talk about that at some other time, but uh, some information has come to light, and I think this one's going to need our help, too. So. The Sandra O? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I'm not real fond of being in the same cell as murderers. Yeah. Really? She's not. So, but, I may have know. misjudged you guys. I don't know. <laughs> We're adventurers. Do you not think people... So can any of you give me one piece of information that will get Flamunda to be able to spring you? Uh, 
I mean, other than Lucky was shaking everybody down. Not according to Hebo. Yeah. Is well, that the only one you asked? Yeah. He took money from the other two. Oh, that dick. See, you can't trust anybody. No. So. But, uh, I mean, that that's all the pertinent information I can think of right now that would get us sprung. Possibly. You can let us investigate more if we're out of the cell. You can what? Investigate for you more if we're out of the cell. I would agree, but I don't think that I have enough to convince the guards to spring you. Hmm. So tell me, well, what, what, what do you think would be compelling to get us sprung? What kind of evidence? We saved Arwen. Ar Arwa has been saved. He can put in a good word for you. Anybody else can put in a good word for you? Christ compels you. <laughs> nice. I tell I tell Sandra him. Sandra O's head spins around and vomits mm -hmm. everywhere. Uh, I've, I've, we've got a. I tell him, look, we've got a witness. We've also got evidence that uh, Frankie Two Fingers is in on this, and that they had a hand in the attempted murder of R1. So all this evidence is in the box with the enchantment. Well, I mean, I've got the other evidence on me, actually. So which is that? That's the poison bottle. So they haven't searched us. So correct. They did not search you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will see what I can do. Okay. And that, my friends, wraps yes. this adventure. We're in uh, the Hooskow. <laughs> jail doing hard time. <laughs> in jail. I still have oh, my dagger. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sandra, yeah, Sandra. There's four of us in here. We can watch each other's backs. Yeah. Or I had a to join on Thursday again, and it was just to put us in jail. <laughs> uh, jail was it, it was gonna it was gonna jail was a potential gonna... occurrence you guys just we made walked it right into it <laughs> yep uh caitlin what'd you think it's good i'm excited i'm excited to be back Carol. we're glad to have you back for our yeah. little soap opera esque you thing. definitely have to come back because we, we got to because you're in the can you're, with you're it. In it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then i died <laughs> it, it's like it's it's like, oh, brother, where art thou now? I'm exactly. in the jailhouse. Pretty much. <laughs> this is like oceans, oceans for morons. Uh, Pretty much. Hey, we're adventurers. I didn't say we were geniuses. You know what? Uh, are you really an adventurer until you land in jail? I true. Exactly. There we uh, go. David, final thoughts. Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I was getting kind of clueless you know, for a second, but I started putting things together when you said, what pertinent information? So did I hit it on the head with that? You have forgotten something massive. You'll, you'll think about it tomorrow. Uh, and last but not least, Carrie, what'd you think? We always got to push the envelope forward, forward, forward. It's true. <laughs> yep. I'm just glad you guys... Uh, Willingly yes. walked in. Oh, we just walked in. I, yeah, sure, here you go. Dumbass. <laughs> well, We're not very a, bright. You know, yeah. a real jail, they would have had to have read us our rights first. Wait, which I have a high intelligence, so this this is all part of the ruse. There you go. So. Sure. Yeah. Uh, why would they read you your rights? Because initially, uh, you were not under arrest. Well, the information of the rainbow flag with blood on it had not yet occurred. That is why. Still, they would have had to come to us and read us our rights in the jail, which they never did. Uh, Escobedo and Miranda cases have not been heard by the. I was going to say, there we go. So There's no such thing as Miranda rights. You're 960 <laughs> some years ahead of schedule. But you know what? Harris says. That's good coffee. <laughs> Folks, uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the cacophony edition, our little urban soap opera. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, it's down there. If you want to join us on Discord and chat about D&D, it's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat uh, on one of our one-shots for the talk show, 
M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail. Let us know. We'll get you moved in here. Uh, Saturday is the campaign, and uh, it is headed towards a major campaign <laughs> and or finish. Uh, they are in desperate straits. The Barbarian has no rages left. Uh, Ernie's the only one that is full power. Chris went down a couple times, and Carol's trying to figure out how to cast greater invisibility. Uh, meanwhile, the city above them is getting pounded by... Did somebody say dragons? Hmm. It's getting Maybe. kind of scary down there. Uh, yeah. But folks, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, thanks for dice that roll high, except tonight. That was mm. uh, a dice. And of course, if your game stinks, little adventure sense will make that game smell better by oddfishgames.com. Folks, let's go ahead and wave, and our uh, kind producer, Carrie slash Camille, will go ahead and get us the hell out of here. Folks, thanks for joining us. Have a great Memorial Day or Labor Day weekend. And yes. Bye, everybody. And, oh, hang on. Mute. You're done.